G'day, I'm Patrick from Douglas Fur Design. Welcome to the Router Bits. The OG and the Roman OG. The OG and the Roman OG are a uh, really common decorative profile uh, used for cornices and architraves and all sorts of things. Uh, apparently they're really ancient, they've been around for a long time. I wouldn't know about that, but the OG and the Roman OG are actually sort of inverse profiles of each other. They'll allow you to cut the same shape from different angles, from vertically or horizontally, uh, but you can use them independently as uh, profiles in their own right. I'll just do some demonstrations and show you what they look like. I'm going to start with the OG bit first. Um, it's pretty simple to set up. You just want to get that bearing lined up with the fence. So that's just a matter of rolling a piece of stock along there until you know the bearing is just touching. And then to uh, set the depth, that's just really a matter of choice of how deep you want that profile to be cut. You just want to make sure that the bottom of the blade is below the table, otherwise you'll end up with a little funny lip on the, uh, on the bottom side of your, of your profile. I'm just going to cut this first one on some 19 uh, stock, 19 mil stock. Okay, so using the OG bit, I first ran a piece through uh, horizontally, flat against the, uh, the table, and you get this profile with a sharp edge on the top, rounding down onto the, uh, onto the narrow face there. Looks quite nice. And you'll recognise this profile on tons of furniture and you know, other period features. Um, and then when I use the board vertically, I get a slightly different profile with a rounded edge on the face and the sharper edge on the narrower. Uh, narrow edge of the stock and so basically we can get those two profiles in the opposite direction using the Roman OG bit as well uh, and the reason that might be useful is if the piece that you're trying to cut um, is just way too big to handle or maybe if you're using a handheld router with this bit which would work perfectly fine on a table it might be much easier to do it from the top from the side than from the side which might be really tricky and dangerous um, and so having those two bits kind of allows you to get both of those profiles, whichever one is more appropriate for the job. I've thrown the Roman OG bit in there to play with. Uh, we'll do a horizontal and a vertical cut. The uh, setup of the bit is pretty much the same as the other one. We want to set the bearing so that it's in line with the fence. And uh, because the square edge of this bit is down the bottom, we're just going to put that sitting just below the level of the table so that we don't have a sharp line there and it joins up perfectly. We can also raise that up above the level of the table slightly if we want to create that lip, which I'll do second. But we'll start with our horizontal cut. Okay, so the Roman OG bit horizontally and vertically have these profiles and uh, you might notice that they look identical to the OG bit but in the opposite uh, orientation. So this is the Roman OG vertical and this is the OG horizontal and they're identical and this is the Roman OG horizontal and this is the OG vertical and you notice they're exactly the same. And so this might seem like there's some redundancy in using both of these bits but as I explained before, if you were doing a large table, you're not going to be able to run the router um, by hand on the edge of the table from the edge. You're going to want to do it from the top. And so you'll need this bit to be able to do both of these profiles. The other thing that you can do with a Roman OG bit that you can't do with an OG bit is actually get a slight lip on this profile just by raising up that bit. So I'm going to raise it up by a few millimetres, run one of these pieces through and you'll see how the profile looks a bit different. Um, the reason you can't do this on an OG bit is because the bearing is in the way. So 
So you can see by raising that up by a few mil, we've created a lip on uh, the face side as well, which is just a nice decorative feature. Uh, these bits come in a couple different sizes if you're doing really fine work and you want something much smaller. I think there is a larger one as well. Uh, you can pick them up at Timbercon uh, online on their website at timbercon.com.au or in their Melbourne or their Perth store. 